Hi guys. In today's tutorial, we'll be making use of uh, Revit 2023 and I will be discussing on how to create a single roof which will have different loops, different loops and uh, practically on different levels. Just as you can see in this example, this is a single roof and they have different loops and also on different levels. So this is what we'll be doing. So what we'll do, let me close this and open a new a new um, template, a picture template. Okay. So you will be making a simple drawing. Um, wall. Let me increase this. Then maybe uh, five thousand. Six thousand. Okay. So maybe this one is two thousand. So this is what I have. I will now um, make this to have. The top cost rate are second level. So, if I now come to one to put my roof now, I will need to go to my level two. Okay, and then uh, coming to this roof, what I'll be using will be roof by footprint. This is what I will use. So, I'll now click. Uh, if I come to this place, I put offset of um, uh, let me say 400. Okay, so I'll now move this. Okay. Now, if I come to 3D, you see what we have. We will have this, right? Okay, now making this to be shaded. But this is not the type of roof we want. We want a relative flat roof, you know, and um, not this actually. So we will need to edit this. Go back to our 3D. I my 2D. So in this 2D, the trick with our regards to how to you will consider this roof to be divided into three. One, this particular portion. Then this other area, this particular portion, and then this other bigger portion. So you consider it to have been divided into three. So each of these areas eh, will be controlled by a particular slope. Either you control it with this or this whole area here, or you control this area with this slope. Or you control this whole area with this particular slope. Now we want the roof to slope down this way. In other words, if rain falls, it will drop this way. Likewise, this place and this place. That means here it has the highest point. Now, if I'm going to use a slope of 10 degree, for example, for this flat, it means that here we have the 10 degree. It means it is moving up. So this particular point, the slope is going from this point, moving up to this point. Likewise, this one, so the slope will be moving from here to this edge and this other place. Now, the first thing I need to do for me to start changing the slopes will be to first highlight these ones. Remember, the major thing that we would consider is this particular uh, uh, slope here which controls this particular area then this other one that we control this particular area then this last one that will control this area so what i will do i will first of all select uh, all the all the lines outside this particular major major lines so i will select this and then i'll select this okay and then i will now come to this define slope and untick it so that it will not have any slope so it will it will be guided with the slopes we have here have this place and this so i will now first of all come to this place as you mean i want this to be five degree and then maybe this one to be 10 degree and i want this one slope to be something like that so if i now come to my 3d if i now come to my 3d it will take to view of this letter, right? Now the next thing for me to do is to make these walls attached to this roof. So I will now select all these walls, and then I say attach. Okay, it's giving me an error message. Can't keep wall and roof join. I say unjoin element. Okay, very fine. So what I will do, I will go back to my 
ed um or okay so what i'll do i'll need to split these walls because why that error message brought up was there is no way you will uh, you want this part out because this is a major problem you want this wall to be attached to this part of part of this roof this one and this one without having a split so we need to make these walls split we need to split this wall along this individual roofs here so for me to do that i will come to this my level one then i will follow this particular trace split this one here split this one but before i split it i will need to extend these walls i'm assuming this to be a single room in this my design then this as a single room then this particular one as a single room so what i will now do to extend these walls this space so i'll now come to modify come to this and click then i will extend this one extend this one so the next thing will be to, for me to trim up this I mean, I mean, for me to split this particular wall, so I will type XN, which is B, and come to this and split, and then come to this place and split, so that we now have them as individual walls. Now I will now come back to my 3D and select, sorry, select this, select this, and select this, and then attach to the, you see, it has been attached. Now, before I continue, I would like to change this my roof. Uh, let me just okay make it this way for example for for, for the meantime. So what the next thing I need to do will be if you want where you find out that I don't like the way this is projecting and I don't like the way this is projecting out. So what I will do will be uh first of all um I would like okay. Let me come back to this my roof. Edit. Come back to this. I would like this particular uh, part of this roof to be aligned with this wall. I want it to be aligned back with this wall. So what I will do is to type align A N. Bring this back to this place this way. So the only place we'll be having the okay, just this is what I want. So I'll click OK come back to so you see it is now better this way right so the next thing will be to um let me go back to my 2d just a quick addition come back to architecture just to put um where is this floor okay and then okay. oh this way I just want to put this part of the floor. Sand. Uh, maybe ground. I just want to add this. Now, this part of as you are seeing, I want to have. Um, we already have having it on different loops. As you can see, this loop is different from this and different from this, and they're on different uh, levels. So, but what I want to do, I would like to copy this because I just let me assume. A, just look at what I will do. Okay, I will just need to copy this so that it will be like it is having a roof covering that um, be better off placed my own way. So I will come to this place first. For let me duplicate this. Okay, duplicate this and make this maybe thirty, and then um say okay. So, move this from here to here. Okay. So, I will now select this. I want to edit it so that it will be like a normal roof covering. Covering this. So that this will now, I will no longer be seeing this as a roof. Maybe I will see it as a concrete fascia. You know? So, just follow me and see what I'm doing. I say edit. Or uh, offsetting this maybe by um, 2 inches. That is 50. 50 mm okay sorry offset of then offsetting this by or let me just say 100 
screen in the office of sense as browsing theme any capabilities and uh, an hours that one I'm so coming back now I have this this room so that I can now change the material for this maybe coming on the um, where is the material so I'll now move from here and um, enter under this category I'll create a new material create new material and then uh, maybe use a roof um, roofing and then maybe choose any of these let me just use this okay so but I just by the I just want to feel that we can actually do this kind of thing so they now have different uh, area I went and did this to cut block, cut block. So what I will now need to do will be to change um this black color let me make it just white so I will now come to this place uh maybe duplicate okay no problem then edit so I just need to create a new material and then maybe change all these things to white um because i'm not talking about rendering in this case so i don't need the render appearance but i'm not going to render this so i'll just change all this into white okay 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 so it now turns to white color okay. so and uh maybe i just want to keep this now again having done all these things you'll find that, that I think okay. Find out that there is a problem here. You see, there is a space between this and this. So now, how do we solve this issue? You know, how do we solve this issue? So for me to just, I just need to uh, align these walls. Let me just click it. I just need to align these to the walls or to this particular. Yeah, then you can maybe put this in under my and then click to so, with this let me bring it back I'm shaded so having done this I think with this we can come to the end of this class we have done something